Hello everybody, Sandy Adelaide here, back to, to talk about the DSA values. One of the values that I want to talk about today is the value of valuing what we have. The ability to value what you have, to value your possession, is one of the greatest human qualities you could possess. Now I'm talking about values, but this is a virtue. This is a, a, a character a trait, a, a virtue that you must develop in yourself. You know, most of us, because we have what belongs to us all the time, we often think that those things that belong to us, they are ours. And because they are ours, and because we possess them, that we could relate to them anyhow we want. That it means that, uh, you know, they will never go anywhere. And there's nothing we can do and we have it so there's no need to value it there's no need to be grateful for them there's no need to uh, you know to value them let me give you an example it is important that you know that your spouse's wife should never be taken for granted I mean your spouse's love should never be taken for granted Let's say you are a man and you have a wife. Most often for men and for women too, you just assume, oh, it's my husband, it's my wife. And in, in your subconscious, subconscious, you are thinking, it's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. She's mine. I mean, she's my wife. She's I mean, he's my husband. I mean, we are married. Well, I'm sure you have enough stories to tell you that, you know what, when we, be, when we stop valuing what we have, we stop having them. If we don't, we possess those things, we own those things, but as soon as we stop valuing what we own, the ownership is transferred. Even those things that we think we possess, our possession ceases, stops when we stop to value those possessions. So the wisdom that I want to point out here is that your possessions, all the things that you have come to regard as yours, your possessions, that they are not really yours. If you could look at life that way and begin to uh, assess and 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 uh, you know manage your your attitude to life, to know and to acknowledge the fact that everything I own, everything I have, everything I possess, are not really mine. So what are they to me? Or who am I to them? It's important that we have such a posture that everything I have, everything I possess, everything I own, I don't really own them. They are not really mine. I don't really possess them. I am a manager of them. Or I am a steward for them. Or of them. That is the best way to look at life. I don't possess my wife. I may still want to her. She's entrusted to me to value, to love, to cherish, and to honor. I don't have a I don't have my husband. I don't possess him. I don't own him. Once you begin to think that you own what you have, that what you have is your possession, you lose that possession. You cease to have it. The ownership is transferred to another. Life, a lesson of life that God would like us to have is 
That, and this is one of the lessons that God is trying to teach us through death. Why do we all have to die? One of the reasons, one of the lessons that we are taught in death is this particular one. That everything we have, we don't own. God owns everything. We are entrusted with whatever we have. All the things that we think we possess are temporary. That possession could be transferred to another. So when you take your spouse's love for granted, she loves me, she, she's my wife, she has to love me. She's my husband, she vows to love me. I mean, she went to the altar with me, she took me to the, he took me to the altar, and at the altar, he vowed, he vowed to love me. I mean, the Bible says you must love your wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible did say that. <laughs> Once you begin to disregard and not to value that love, that love is transferred to another. Oh, but it's a sin. It can never do that. Huh? It's a sin. It's going to hell. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Does it mean that love is transferred to another woman? That love could be transferred to his job. That love could be transferred to the children. That love could be transferred to the, the, his occupation or to the neighbors or to, to God or to church or to a pastor or to anything. Mm. Yeah. Because when you cease to value the love of your spouse, when you begin to get used to the affection of your, of your family, of your extended family or nucleus family or your children, when the affection that you get from your children, from your daughter, from your son, is taken for granted, they move out of the house. And you see that your 18-year-old boy, or your 18-year-old boy, Say, Mom, Dad, I'm out of you. And your 16 year old girl is looking for a boyfriend. But you say, But she, she's my child. She's my only daughter. She's she, he's my only son. She, these are my children. I mean, they don't have anywhere to go. You don't you go. I gave birth to you. If, if you gave birth to them, anything, including the children that you give birth to. When you begin to take the affection for granted, when you begin to think that you own their affection, that ownership is transferred. Transferred to the boyfriend, to the girlfriend, to the peers, to the kid, to the cinema stars, to the you know serial movies. Films. This is telling us about not taking anything for granted. When you take for granted the respect of your peers, or the respect of your subordinates, or the respect of your church members, when you take the honor, the respect that your church members give you for granted, One day, those church members will come to you and say, Well, Papa Gio, Papa Bishop, I just got a revelation that I've got to move on to another church, to another ministry. Oh, I'm done in this church. When you take your people's offerings, giftings, titan offerings, and sacrifices, and Things they do for you and in the church or around you as what they should do, what they must do. If you take it for granted and you stop following their services and their sacrifices and you begin to just take that as what you deserve, it will not be forever. You lose that. 
that respect. You lose those services that those people are giving you. We should never think that everything we've got right now is ours. They are trusted and trusted. We should need think that we own everything that God has blessed us with. That's why millionaires become bankrupt. That's why Hollywood, I mean Hollywood stars commit suicide. Because they do not recognize that everything they own or possess or have right now, they are only entrusted with them. And we all are only stewards to everything else in our lives. So learn to appreciate. Learn to be grateful. Learn to be thankful. Learn to be reciprocal. Recipro to reciprocate all the goodness around you. And never you think that you own the love of your spouse. Or that you deserve the affection of your children or the respect of your colleagues or the offering by offerings that are coming the offering bags in your church or the honor of your members or the followership that are following you we are blessed with all these things they are god's blessings god owns them and we could direct them to any other direction, any time, any day, when we begin to devalue and disregard these things that God has brought and into our lives and entrusted us with. Peace. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell. You see the bell? Go press on it. And number four, we need you to go comment. Write your comment, good or bad, just write what you feel. Number five, share, share, share. Share on every platform. Share on Instagram, share on Facebook. Just share and spread the word. Thank you so much. All right, blessings.